Knight Rider, a classic American action crime drama television series. Airing on NBC from September 26, 1982, to April 4, 1986. The show stars David Hasselhoff as Michael Knight, a modern-day crime fighter, alongside his formidable ally, Kit. A cutting-edge, artificially intelligent vehicle endowed with near-indestructible capabilities. While initial reviews of the series were mixed, with some leaning towards the negative, Knight Rider would later find its place in the annals of television history, garnering more favorable retrospective appraisals. Beyond its entertainment value, Knight Rider served as a launchpad for the careers of its recurring and guest actors, many of whom continued to thrive in the industry. However, the passage of time has also brought loss, as some of the talented individuals who breathed life into the series have since passed away. Today, as we reflect on their contributions, we mourn the departure of these gifted actors, whose impact on the world of entertainment remains indelible. Edward Mulhair Edward Mulhair, known for his portrayal of Devin Miles in the series, Knight Rider, embodied the role of the sophisticated and esteemed director of the Foundation for Law and Government, FLAG, the organization that supported Michael Knight and his advanced car, Kit, in their crime-fighting endeavors. Serving as both mentor and paternal figure to Michael Knight, played by David Hasselhoff, Mulhair's Miles offered guidance, resources, and unwavering support as they embarked on missions to combat crime and champion justice. With his British charm and sharp intellect, Miles provided a strategic edge, complementing Knight's adventurous spirit. Known for his integrity and loyalty, Miles wasn't just a leader but also a trusted friend to both Knight and Kit, offering sage advice and encouragement when needed. Beyond, Knight Rider, Mulhair guest starred in Experiment in Terra, an episode of the original Battlestar Galactica, and appeared in several films including Megaforce and Out to Sea. His final role was in Baywatch Nights. Mulhair, a heavy smoker, succumbed to lung cancer on May 24, 1997, at the age of 74, at his residence in Van Nuys, California. Lance Legault Vernon Gray in The Knight Rider brought to life the character of a recurring antagonist who consistently posed challenges to Michael Knight, played by David Hasselhoff, and the high-tech car, Knight Industries 2000, Kit. As a skilled and cunning criminal, Vernon Gray utilized his intellect and resources to outmaneuver the protagonists in various schemes and heists. Establishing himself as a formidable adversary, Legault's performance infused the character with a powerful presence and ruthless demeanor, adding tension and excitement to the series and keeping audiences engaged with each confrontation. Despite his villainous nature, Vernon Gray left a lasting impression as a memorable and pivotal character in the Knight Rider universe, showcasing Legault's talent for portraying complex villains on screen. In addition to his acting career, Legault also lent his voice to various commercials, including Burger King's, Angry Whopper, Burger, Dodge, and 7-Up. Legault passed away from heart failure on Monday, September 10, 2012, at his residence in Los Angeles. Jack Starrett Hagen was characterized as a cunning and ruthless adversary, utilizing his sharp intellect and resourcefulness to devise intricate schemes that thwarted the protagonist's efforts to combat crime. With Starrett's portrayal, Hagen emerged as a skilled criminal mastermind, posing significant obstacles for the heroes and adding depth and excitement to the series. Starrett's depiction of Hagen, with his menacing presence and formidable demeanor, captivated audiences in each encounter, solidifying Hagen as a memorable and essential component of the Knight Rider universe and showcasing Starrett's ability to bring complex characters to life on screen. Outside of Knight Rider, Starrett gained recognition for his role as Gabby Johnson, a parody of George Gabby Hayes, in the 1974 film Blazing Saddles, and for his portrayal of the brutal police officer Art Galt in the 1982 film First Blood. Starrett passed away from liver failure in Sherman Oaks, California, at the age of 52. According to his sister, he had been battling illness for an extended period. Michael Masters Character Cabby, a taxi driver with a penchant for getting involved in Knight's adventures, played a vital role by providing essential assistance and valuable information, aiding the protagonists in their ongoing mission to combat crime and uphold justice. With his amiable demeanor and readiness to offer a helping hand, Cabby injected moments of levity and camaraderie into the series, serving as a reliable source of support for Knight and Kid whenever required. While not occupying a central role, Cabby's presence enriched the dynamic and vibrant universe of Knight Rider, highlighting Master's ability to infuse his character with warmth and charm. Outside of Knight Rider, 
Masters was recognized for his appearances in notable productions such as, Combat, 1962, Emergency, 1972, and, Remington Steele, 1982. Showcasing his versatility as an actor across various projects, Masters passed away on December 2, 2003, in Arleta, California, USA. Phyllis Davis Tanya Walker, a recurring character known for her intelligence and resourcefulness, often served as an ally to Michael Knight, played by David Hasselhoff. With her expertise as a skilled technician and mechanic, Tanya played a pivotal role in aiding Knight and Kit on their various missions, utilizing her technical know-how to repair and enhance the car's capabilities. Her quick thinking and adeptness contributed significantly to the team's success in their efforts to combat crime and injustice. Despite not being a central figure, Tanya's presence added depth and diversity to the Knight Rider universe, highlighting Davis's talent for portraying capable and multifaceted characters on screen. Beyond Knight Rider, Davis also starred in the dramatic detective series Vegas from 1978 to 1981, portraying Beatrice Travis, the office manager and Friday girl to the show's main character. Additionally, she made a guest appearance in Magnum Pie. Davis chose to keep her battle with cancer private, and she passed away on September 27, 2013, at the age of 73. Ramon Bieri Acid, John Byrock emerged as a recurring character known for his involvement in shady dealings and criminal activities, often acting as a formidable adversary to Michael Knight, played by David Hasselhoff, and his intelligent car, Kit, Knight Industries 2000. Byrock's cunning and ruthless nature presented significant challenges to the protagonists as he engaged in illegal ventures and devised schemes to thwart their efforts to combat crime. Despite his villainous inclinations, Byrock's presence injected tension and excitement into the series, showcasing Beery's skill in portraying complex and morally ambiguous characters. Furthermore, Beery held notable roles in other television productions, including starring as the title character in the short-lived NBC sitcom, Joe's World, and portraying Lt. Barney Varick on the NBC drama, Sarge. He also appeared in recurring roles on Room 222. Beery's life was cut short by cancer, and he passed away in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California, on May 27, 2001, at the age of 71. Barbara Rush Character Elizabeth Knight, portrayed as Michael Knights, played by David Hasselhoff, adoptive mother, held a recurring role in the series. Throughout the show, Elizabeth stood out as a loving and supportive figure in Michael's life, offering him guidance and emotional reassurance. Her character not only added depth to Michael's storyline but also provided insights into his upbringing and personal history. Despite not directly participating in Michael and Kit's Night Industries 2000 crime-fighting escapades, Elizabeth played a pivotal role in shaping Michael's character and values. Moreover, Rush enjoyed a prolific career in television, becoming a regular performer on the series, Hayden Place, and appearing in various television movies, miniseries, and soap operas like All My Children and the family drama Seventh Heaven. In addition to her television work, Rush starred in several films, including The Young Philadelphians, The Young Lions, Robin and the Seven Hoods, and Ombre. Unfortunately, Rush passed away due to dementia at a care home in Westlake Village, California, on March 31, 2024, at the age of 97. James T. Callahan James Callahan. Character Jeff Barnes served as the mechanic and technician at the Knight Industries semi-truck headquarters. With his expertise as a skilled mechanic, Barnes played a crucial role in ensuring Kit was always in top condition for action. Handling maintenance and upgrades with precision, his character injected a practical and grounded element into the series, offering technical support and expertise to Michael and Kit during their crime-fighting missions. Despite not directly engaging in the thrilling adventures, Barnes' contributions were indispensable to the team's success, highlighting Callahan's talent for portraying reliable and steadfast characters on screen. Moreover, Callahan's acting career spanned over five decades. He notably portrayed Walter Powell in the syndicated sitcom, Charles in Charge, starring alongside Scott Bio, a role that contributed to his recognition among audiences. Callahan faced health challenges when he was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. Six months later, on August 3, 2007, Callahan passed away at his residence in Fallbrook, California, at the age of 76. Joe Ledoux Hannigan was a recurring figure recognized for his portrayal of a tough and uncompromising police officer who frequently encountered Michael Knight. As a law enforcement professional, 
Hannigan exuded a strong sense of authority and commitment to justice, though he often questioned Knight's methods and the capabilities of Kit. Despite occasional clashes, Hannigan shared the common goal of combating crime and preserving order. Ledoux's depiction of Hannigan injected the series with tension and conflict, demonstrating his skill in bringing realistic and gritty characters to the screen. Outside of his role in Knight Rider, Ledoux was known for his work as an actor and film producer. With credits including Song of Silver, 1995, Eleven Robbers of the Century, 2001, and Indecent Proposal, 1993. Tragically, Ledoux's life was affected by Alzheimer's disease, and he passed away on May 26, 2014, in Las Vegas, Nevada, United States, at the age of 70. Zakes Moke Zakes Moke took on the role of Son Kuna, a skilled and cunning criminal mastermind. Possessing a sharp intellect and strategic prowess, Kuna presented formidable challenges to the protagonists, involving himself in various illicit activities and schemes to further his objectives. Despite his villainous inclinations, Kuna's character brought depth and intrigue to the series, underscoring Moke's talent in depicting multifaceted and compelling antagonists on screen. Moreover, Moke earned a nomination for his second Tony Award in 1993 for his performance in Tug Yorgro's play, The Song of Jacob Zulu. Beyond acting, Moke ventured into theater direction, collaborating with American companies such as the Nevada Shakespeare Company. Tragically, Moke's life was cut short by complications from a stroke. And he passed away on September 11, 2009, in Las Vegas, at the age of 75. John Crawford Mac Thomas, a recurring figure, was recognized for his portrayal of a seasoned and experienced police officer as a law enforcement professional. Thomas exuded a sense of authority and unwavering dedication to his duties, joining forces with Knight to address various criminal cases and uphold order. His presence on the show contributed to its realism and authenticity, showcasing Crawford's skill in embodying dependable and trustworthy characters on screen. Apart from Knight Rider, Crawford held notable roles in various films, including portraying the investigating state trooper in I Saw What You Did, 1965, The Chief Engineer in The Poseidon Adventure, 1972, Callahan in The Towering Inferno, 1974, and Brian Deering in The Boogans, 1981. Crawford passed away from a stroke just eight days before his 90th birthday, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances. He breathed his last in Newberry Park, California. Don Gordon Police Lieutenant Dickerson emerged as a recurring figure, renowned for his portrayal as a no-nonsense and dedicated law enforcement officer. With his keen instincts and unwavering commitment to justice, Dickerson exuded a sense of authority and dependability throughout the series, significantly contributing to the team's triumphs in their endeavors to uphold law and order. Beyond his role in Knight Rider, Gordon's acting prowess earned him a nomination for a Primetime Emmy Award for his portrayal of Joey Tassily in the CBS legal drama. The Defenders, alongside E.G. Marshall, throughout his career, he starred in notable television shows such as Lucan, during 1977-1978, and he took on the character Harry in the CBS series, The Contender, 1980. Gordon passed away at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles on April 24, 2017 at the age of 90, after being diagnosed with cancer shortly before his death. In addition to the main cast of Knight Rider, a number of guest actors have also passed away, leaving behind a legacy that has been woven into the history of the film. Don Galloway, renowned for his portrayal of Gilbert Cole, departed on September 21, 2010, in Thousand Oaks, California, succumbing to complications arising from a stroke. Guy Stockwell, known for his role as Riggins, battled diabetes in his later years before passing away on February 6, 2002. His demise, at the age of 68, Jason Evers, who brought the character of Edward Grant to life, succumbed to heart failure in Los Angeles on March 13, 2005. Alan Williams, remembered for his portrayal of Jack, breathed his last on May 26, 2019, at the age of 74. George Murdoch, renowned for his depiction of Archibald, battled cancer until his passing on April 30, 2012, in Burbank, California. Paul Lambert, who embodied General Maddox, bid farewell at the age of 74 in Santa Monica, California. Sam Vlahos, known for his portrayal of Alfredo Diaz, faced the ravages of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis before passing away on September 3, 2011, at the age of 76. John Vernon, revered for his portrayal of Cameron Zachary, 
left a void following complications from heart surgery on February 1, 2005, in Westwood, Los Angeles. And there are some other actors too. Their passing reminds us of the precious moments we shared with them on screen. If you enjoyed this tribute and want to keep the spirit of Knight Rider alive, please consider supporting my YouTube video by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Your support means the world in keeping the memories of these talented individuals alive for generations to come. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.